I welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I teach you factor affecting to the human comfort or a human thermal comforts. So there is a 10 points that affect to the human thermal comfort, human thermal comfort and I explain you one by one. So first point is the air stratifications. Air stratification means the when the temperature of the air is increase means air is heated its density is reduced and air is moving into the upper direction means nearest to the terrace okay and the cold air nearest to the wall of the terrace is moving to the place of the hot air okay so there is a temperature difference between the floor to the terrace so between the floor and terrace that is a different temperatures of the air and this temperature is affect to the human body so it is a one of the factor that affect to the human comfort so this difference temperatures from the flooring to the terrace wall it's create the uncomfortable feeling for the human being and this temperature gradient is known as the air stratifications second is the air temperatures the our human body is work as a heat engine the our body have a efficiency of 20 percent so another 80 percent heat energy is rejected to the atmospheres so for rejecting this energy our body is required to the comfortable temperature outside okay so our body is feeling comfortable at the temperature of 26 degrees centigrade in any season summer or winter our body is feeling comfortable at the 26 degrees centigrade because it's reject the 80 percent heat energy to the atmosphere so they are required a perfect temperature for rejecting this heat next one is the air humidity air humidity means moisture contains in the air so more humidity is create the discomfort to the human body and the too lower humidity is also create the discomfort for the human beings so cities near to the sea area have a higher humidity in the summer seasons so our body is feeling comfortable at the 60 percent relative humidity and in the winter seasons our body is feeling comfortable at the 30 to 40 percent relative humidity so that's why we require to maintain the humidity of the air okay and this humidity is create the different problems to the human body that's why we need to control the air humidity next one is the air velocity or a air motion the air perfect velocity is required for transferring the heat from the our body okay so air coming out from the air conditioning system its velocity is not excited or more than 5 meter per second if the low velocity air is coming then it's are not able to transfer the heat from the our body and if higher velocity then we are also not feeling comfortable so air velocity is set at less than 5 meter per seconds in an air conditioning system next is air purity the air contains toxic gases small particles suspended solids bacteria smoke and various viruses all these are harmful to the human lives thus air needs to be properly filtered before enter into any space so our human body is required to the filter air and for the filtering of the air so air filter is provided in the air conditioning system next one is the odor controls the air contain the gas fumes smoke which add their peculiar odors to the air and making human uncomfortable so some smells is not feeling comfortable for the human body so we require the complete odor controls in air conditioning systems so some spray are sprayed in the air some chemical are spray and some purifier are spray to maintain the odor controls of the air next one is the effective temperatures the effective temperature means it is a combination of air temperatures air humidity 
and air motions so these all the three factor are combined and one effect is come it is known as the effective temperatures the effective temperature range is from 19 to 22 for the different seasons for winter and summers and then we are feeling comfortable if you want to learn more about the effective temperatures then the link is provided on the top right screen of your mobile or laptop or you can also watch from the eye symbol next is air quantity it is essential to decide percentage of recirculated air and the amount of outdoor air from any air conditioning system generally in central air conditioning system 15 per 15 percent 1 5 percent of the fresh air or outdoor air is supplied or is added to maintain the oxygen level in a air conditioning space and dilute the carbon dioxide so our human body is rejecting the co2 if we are not filling or we are not supplying the fresh air then what happen after the some time co2 level is increasing in the room and we are not feeling comfortable so some quantity of the fresh air is compulsory required to supply it in the air conditioning system and it is a 15 percent of the air that is required to supply the fresh air next is the hot and cold surface it is the last point hot and cold surface in a space may cause discomforts to the occupants sometimes ceiling is warmer than the room room air during the summer so ceiling is warmer than the room air during the summer which cause the discomforts by the radiations so when we sitting on the room and the, our terrace wall is heated okay and this what happened is our terrace wall is supplying the radiation energy to the, our human body our body is making for rejecting the heat but what happened the, our terrace is supplying the radiation of heat energy to the, our body so this supplying the heat energy to the body is create the discomfort it create the digestion problems and the number of problem is created for that thank you for watching this video if you learn then like my video subscribe my channels and share with your friend